Hey everyone, Mike again. Today we are going to talk about RuCode. I keep wanting to say Klein. They just changed their name. If you want to get that, you have to go to your VS Code, go over here to your extensions, and just search for RuCode. And it's previously RuKlein. And so RuCode is basically a forked version of Klein, making Klein even better. The, the biggest thing here is that it can generate code, you know, generate code from natural language descriptions, which for someone like me is really good because I don't know all the coding terminology. So this helps a lot. It does have a debugging and refractor, the existing code. It can write and update the documentation. Now this part's really cool. I will show you guys this in a second. It can answer questions about your code base. It can automate repetitive tasks. And of course it can create new files. Now to me this here is the strongest part about RuCode. These right here. They have the code mode which is for coding. The architect mode which is absolutely insane. I mean if you just use this for the architect mode it'll probably help you with your other programs you're working on just by using this. The ask mode which is obviously for answering questions. It has a debug mode, and of course you can make custom modes where it's kind of a mixture of these. So I mean, that's really cool. But after you install it, um, if you've ever used Klein, it's the same general setup. Now I will mention, I was trying to use this, and I did run into an issue, which I'll explain later, but I wasn't able to finish my project I was working on, unfortunately. But the biggest difference is though, if we go down here to the corner, we have this code, architect, ask, and debug. And then also you can set up default profiles, you can make your own profiles all that cool stuff. Like I said, architect is unbelievable. So this is my current file structure that it was working on when I ran into some issues. I wanted to go over files that it made. So, you know, it made a content strategy for this website, you know, which this is something I could give to the customer too. You know, it's like, you know, here's your demographics, you know, here's the brand tone and uh, voice and tone. And it gave me all these really cool things that it's like, I didn't even think about this type of stuff, but you know, it goes over the entire context strategy, implementation strategy, well, steps. So it's like, you know, set up tailwind with custom themes, you know, and it kind of gives a general outline, create basic themes, set up language routing, you know, set up the data structure, define the types. I mean, it just created all of this and it's just crazy. You know, and then it did a project overview, you know, project goals, target audience, website structure, you know, that goes over a lot of SEO stuff, the project timeline, you know, how long this stuff should take. I mean, like I said, if you only use it just to get this stuff, this is like crazy. Here's the SEO, the SEO strategy, you know, explaining how to create a service and location based off of the keyword plus location you know, meta tags. I mean, it's just, this is crazy. And each one of these files is huge. It's, it's like, these are not small files. I mean, it really open. Oh, there's even one more. There's a website development plan. So it's like based on the analysis, you know, here's the file structure it's going to use, you know, here's our color scheme. When I was using this on a smaller page, it will actually go through this. It'll actually cross these off as it's going. I don't know where that other project was that I had, and I'm really ticked that I lost it. I like to mention, though, that I did run into, it has a current error going on right now with this max tokens issue. I don't know if I have it saved on here or not. If you go to their GitHub, you can see here that they are, they're, they're working on it right now. As of a few hours ago, I think it's been updated. I haven't tried again, but I think it's been updated. A lot of people were running to this issue. Now, when I used Klein, just regular Klein, I had no issue building an 80 page website. And you can see that video. I'll link it somewhere. That's my biggest issue right now. And it's not their problem. They're still building this. Sonnet just came out. So everything's, I am using 3.7 Sonnet. They do have, you can use the 3.7 Sonnet thinking, which I haven't tried that yet. I don't know if that's any good or not. Have you guys tried it? But you can set up a ton of auto approve operations. You can delay things. You can give it auto approve exit, execute commands. If you just want the NPMs to run on its own, you can pick the browser size, the rate limit, the minimum time between APIs. Like I said, if you've used Klein, this is like the next level of Klein. And it's just crazy. I thought for giggles and you know what. Let's see if it continue building this project with even the current issues it's having. So I'm just going to try 
Let's see what happens. So I would like to mention how it's going through all those open files I just showed you, the project overview, the web development plan. It's going over each one of those individually, then looking at the pages. And this is where it usually gets timed out. So we'll see if I get that error again. They still have the rate limit image and the rate limit error, unfortunately. It does try to say that it's like on my side, you go to the GitHub, they're working on it right now. This was posted yesterday and as of even today, I mean, I did see some new stuff, you know, 11 hours ago. They're working on it. I'm hoping it gets done soon so I can finish this site because I think this would be really cool to compare from Klein, row Klein, row code to see what the differences are. So unfortunately it looks like, oh, it's starting to do something else. So I would like to mention that I did not mention a blog and it's actually saying there should be a blog in here for SEO strategy. So that would be a good thing to like, when you're working with the customer, you can show them this stuff. It just wants to run it now. Okay, let's see what, let's see what it does. I don't think there's an actual site, but I'll click on it. Okay, so I have a very broken website right now. I mean, as you can tell, colors are off, the footers are not, I mean, it never really finished what it was working on, so I'm not complaining. I mean, the hero image is not done, the navigation's not done. There's a lot that's not done. Hopefully it's gonna see that and go through and start fixing a lot of that, and hopefully I don't get those errors anymore. The cool thing about this is it's actually using a headless browser and checking all that stuff. You saw my client video, it does the same thing. Like here it says it loaded incorrectly, you know, the homepage of the website is loading in. It goes through these pretty fast. And then I just hit my rate limit again. So I have a feeling this video is going to be incomplete for now. So it looks like now I'm stuck in the rate limit again, unfortunately. So that sucks. I mean, I guess I could try 3.5 Sonnet. I really want to use 3.7. So this is telling me it's actually me now that has the error. So I never had this error on Klein. So let me check something. This is probably completely off topic from this video, but if you're using Anthropic, there is requirements for tiers. A free tier is basically you've spent $5. There's tier two, tier three, tier four, and anything above tier four, you contact them to get more. The main difference though is how much more you can use it. So like 3.7 Sonnet, you can only have 50 requests per minute and 20,000 tokens. Tier two is 100,000, 40,000 then 2,000, 80,000, and then 200,000 inputs per minute tokens. If you wanted to just get right to the, the tier four, now I know this is probably out of a lot of people's mindset. If you just go ahead and put $400 in your account, after seven days, you will become a tier three. And then after 14 days of that payment, you will become a tier four. So if you put $400 in your account now, in the first week, you will become tier three, and then you will become tier four. Right now, it says I'm a tier two. Maybe I'll dump some more money in this to bump it up. But yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't give you guys... Oh, it looks like it's still going. Looks like I'm still getting that error, unfortunately. I was hoping to show you guys a complete website, and now I'm getting this error where there's a... Uh, I think it's this right here that's screwing it up. It's supposed to be a comma, not a... I mean, we got syntax error. Not a big issue. Unfortunately, I'm hitting this error again. I would love to show you guys a completed product. It looks like we're not going to get there today. I'll keep playing with this and then when this starts working again and they update everything, I will definitely make a new video because I think Rue Code is the next level of these website builders. Klein is amazing right now. This is the next level of it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you liked it. Sorry, I can't show you a completed product. I feel like I failed. Have a good one. See you again.